Okay, if you want to make an assignment or put in a test on PowerSchool, go ahead and log in to the Teacher Pro. Usually it takes a second to load. And then you pull this menu bar down and you should have Algebra, 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. Pick whatever class you want to do an assignment for. I have other assignments in here. Yours will probably be blank. If you want to add a new assignment, you're just going to click on the Add and click Assignment. Let's say that I was doing a homework check. This is how I usually label it. Homework check. And then I say whatever homework check it's for. So if it's for lesson 2.4, I put 2.4. This is daily work. All homework checks are daily work. And then however many questions there are, that's what I put for my score entry points. So if there were four questions, I'd put four. If there's five questions, I put five. Then I save and close. Then when I go in to put this in, I click on the assignment, and there's everybody's name. So if Olivia got three right, I put three in there. If James got all of them right, I put five, because it was out of five. If Lexi got two right, I put two. If Anaya did not turn it in, I put a zero, and I either put that it was missing, so I don't have it, it wasn't in the rainbow tote. It, she was absent, I could put that if I wanted to. Those are usually the only two that I use. Okay, so then if I mess up, because I don't really want this assignment, I can just go here to edit, and I can delete the assignment, and then you could make a new one. If I was going to make a test, I would do the same thing. Go up to your Add button and click Assignment. And then I would call it Chapter 2 Test. This time, it's not going to be a daily grade. It's going to be an assessment grade. And then my points are however many questions are on the test. If there's an A and a B on a question, so for example, number 6 has a part A and then a part B, I count those each as one point. So I count every single blank that they fill in as a point. Usually the tests are out of 20 questions, so I'm going to say 20 questions. But you can look at the test and count them. Click Save and Close. Then if you click on it, I would say that Olivia got 19 out of 20 right. Or James got 100. Or Lexi's test is not in yet. It's missing or it's incomplete. She hasn't finished it, whatever you want to put. Or she was absent that day. And then again, if I wanted to save it, I click Save and Save My Scores. And I'd go back to my assignment list and I can look at it. This isn't a real test, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. But it would still be there. And then if I want to look at the kids' grades, no matter what grade level I, I want to pick, I can go over here to Grading and I click on Score Sheet and it tells me their grades. Some people are failing, and some of them because they were absent. See, I have a lot of that this one was missing, they were absent that day, so on and so forth. And that's it.